Today's episode is brought to you by Gabby. Head on over to Gabby.com slash rogue to find out how much you can save on your car and homeowner insurance. Previously on Modern Rogue. Wait, no. If he's doing this for me for Modern Rogue, then it's almost certainly in here, right? Why you smell me? Yeah, no, he smelled it. Yeah, no, he, he God did. Damn it. <laughs> so almost certainly the message is in the knots. My frustration was that I kept seeing numbers that were starting with zero, which made no sense. And of course the answer was I was doing everything backwards. Okay, so I'm gonna assume these are coordinates. Like, you're just putting the whole plan up there? Oh, this is amazing. Oh, you've outdone yourself, Murphy. My goodness. We got ourselves more coordinates. So the coordinates look like they're along the river. Everything else so far has been of some kind of storied significance. Looking at this, if I was gonna guess out of the blue, I would, I would guess to look at the, the foxhole where, where Whiskey and Tango live. Or we assume they do, we don't know. <laughs> but also that has me possibly sticking my hand in a Foxborough, which makes me nervous. All right, so it says it's in this area close. Maybe a little bit up the creek. I guess maybe just a little bit up here. <gasps> oh, you sassy mother That is definitely one of the fake rocks we made for the dead drop. Please be right, please be right. <laughs> oh, that's great! Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> oh, yes! Another video! Oh, that was well played, sir. All right, not that I don't love authenticity, but if we're gonna sit in a literal cloud of bugs, then uh, I think I could get the next clue in a more comfortable part of the property. So if we're on clue number five now, I gotta think we're coming up to using that one-time pad sometime soon. All right, here we go. Friends, rogues, fellow supervillains, lend me God damn it. Like at first I thought it was a bit, and then I realized it went a bit long for a bit, which we're not above, but then it goes so long that it's like, this is the worst Andy Kaufman-esque bit ever, or that this is some kind of slow scan television thing. Also, I am convinced there's a clue in the Friends Rogues Countryman Caesar, thing. What is Caesar's? There it is, there, yeah, Caesar reference. Okay, this has something to do with the coin. Okay, 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 uh, all right, all right. So what do we got? We got a signal that is almost certainly slow scan television that I have to decode. Boy, wouldn't that be great if I just lost the coin? <laughs> then we couldn't finish it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so some kind of reference rendering under Caesar. Unto Caesar, what is Caesar's? It's got IX on one side, and it says Vin, Vintus, or if that's a space, maybe five. Oh, five cents. Maybe it's uh, Cintus, C-I-N-T-U-S. Let's let's figure out what's on that code. I'm gonna grab a slow scan TV app. We did that one episode where we learned that slow scan TV is the method that, like the Voyager probe, used to send photos back to Earth, and we've dropped some codes using that before. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. All right, so stop. If I adjust the skew. No, maybe the phase? No. So it must be a different codec than Scotty S1. 
One more time, I'm gonna try auto detecting and I'll manually start it, which maybe will make it help. Lend me. So I can see what looks like some kind of, looks like some kind of text written on there. But it looks like I definitely have the wrong codec. So probably the highest number MR1. Skew. God, it looks like it's almost something there, doesn't it? Oh, that one looks very close. Oh, I think we've got something. Oh, oh man, I can almost see it. Black and white, 36 seconds. I'm gonna start it over again because look at that. Weirdly, the closer you get to the microphone, the more messed up and noisy it gets. So I'm gonna stop it. And then I'm going to back this up. Lend me. So it looks like the beginning. I-N-A-X-W-X-N, I-N-A-X-C-Q-A-N-N. -N. That's not like a ham handle, is it? W-R-W-N-B-N-E-N-W. O R E N C F X I N A X O X D A. So, what does that have to do with a five cent in Latin piece that says either 11 or 9? Synctus? Is, does synctus mean sense? Let me see. Uh, there's a spider. <laughs> Maybe it's a V instead of a U. It really looks like a U. So, instead of an S at the end, that could be some decorations. Oh, it's Sync TV's Twitch channel. That's what we're talking about. V8? You wouldn't have a Arabic numeral on there. Yeah, I'm no longer convinced that those are, that's an S at the end. I think that matches the decoration on the other side. Unless it's S-U-E, first, second, Dilension participle, uh, ready, prepared, having been readied, succinct, concise. But that's with two C's. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Okay, so I'm gonna guess I have to deliver this somewhere, but S U. That's either a. It wouldn't make sense as a B. Unless, let me look up my Roman numerals. L C D M. I don't see anything past that that would justify a, a B or an N. So I'm gonna bail on numbers. What if it is a B? S V B C I N C T U S. Subsinctus. Subsinctus Latin autocompletes. Subsinctus. I can see that. Shift. So if we're keeping to one piece of the puzzle to each puzzle, then I'm gonna disregard the one-time pad and that message, because we have a message. It just needs to be shifted over. So this could be a letter substitution cipher where we shift. So great, okay, so all I gotta do is type in C-Q-A-N-N -N, space I-N-A-X space nope autocorrect is a real punch in the gut on this one these have to be numbers in two phrases because they're going to be more coordinates aren't they one two three four five six seven eight eight digits just like all the previous ones so this is eventually going to be a number i n a x got it got it o x d a o x d a so we know it is coordinates is where we want to end up oh my gosh i think we might be able to solve it without this. Yes, 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 yes. It's definitely in plain English because uh, the first two digits are gonna be three zero, just like all the others. So C-Q-A-N-N -N has to be T-H-R-E-E, I-N-A-X has to be Z-E-R-O. It's taken a long time to solve. I don't think that it merits this much time for computer processing power to solve this. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let me punch in new coordinates. On to you. I got you, TMZ Cobra.
The M stands for mosquitoes and you're a real asshole. Wow, it's way out on the edge of the property. Oh my God, and I think I know exactly where it is. <sighs> wow, wow, this is it. This is the last part, right? We're on the last puzzle. I think we've solved everything except for the one time pad. We've used everything. We've got the radio and the one time pad. Okay, let's go find out. We gotta hike. So from the satellite, it looked like it was on the very, very back of the property, on the very edge, where I know we found some like weird ass stone circles and the kids started building a little tree fort. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's where he was taken. It looks like it's just down this way, up the ridge. So there's two paths up. That one I think takes us too far off course. I think I see a message. Yeah. All right, whoops. I'm gonna guess there's one more message. I cannot believe he went to so much length. That's amazing. You down with OTP? Yes. One time pad. Come on, that's when you say the. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. That's when you. That's when you say the thing. I know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Uh -huh. I'm gonna cue you again. I'm gonna cue. Ryan. <laughs> You're down with OTP? That's you. Yeah, you know me. There it is. Could you, like you? Yeah, you know me. Never mind. It's... Yeah, you know me. Okay, no, you don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well shoot, that doesn't give me much to go on outside of, what do I have? I've got the one-time pad, which I've had since the beginning. What new thing did I get? since coming over here. Let me see what I got. Unless, if this is the last puzzle, maybe there's something, maybe this gets used? You're kidding me. <laughs> yes! Okay, okay, so so all, uh, that means this isn't the message. L listen to this, listen to this. Okay. There's the sound. Seven. Yankee. Romeo. Foxtrot. Okay, Three. so that means I don't have a message, I have the key, and this is the actual message, because I was thinking that was gonna be a long ass message to translate. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, all right, let's get to work. All right, I'll wait for the tone. Seven, Yankee, Romeo, Foxtrot. Three. All right, I think I got all those right. Shoot, okay, so then if this becomes the key, then that means we start with E, go down to E, we go to seven, and then up, we get three, which is always the first digit of the next location. Oh, I got this. And we go down to eight, and then we go over to Y, which means zero, 30 point, there we go. Yeah, P. Go over to O. Oh my God, this has got to be the last of the coordinates. <laughs> what a freaking day. Dead center in the middle of the pond. Ah, it's gross. That's where all the mosquitoes are. Typical TMZ Cobra move.
All right, gents, last stop. We have to save the president. Not gonna lie, a tiny part of me was totally hoping to see standing on a rock, Jason Murphy breaking quarantine. I can't believe we were just by here. Oof. Is this, is this the, the prank? Is the whole day so I can stand in a bog? Maybe the GPS is a bit off and there's something underneath one of these benches. Because so far he's been good about having a real story to every place that we've been. Nothing seems to have been just random or useless. So unless the joke was to get me to stand in bog water, maybe here? There is an X. Oh, shit. am I just supposed to sit here? Sitting on your spot. I bet you can hear me. Murphy, are you here? I mean, this is definitely close enough to the spot on the coordinates. And, and none of us put that X there. Spyglass, the lock pick. The one time pad, got his rope. There's nothing in the message to indicate what to do next. So maybe there's something I'm missing around here, but that's definitely X marks the spot. This extra piece of tape confuses me Makes me wonder if something was taped underneath that fell off. Where am I supposed to go if this is the spot? Huh. Is anything indicating a direction to look? <gasps> what if that mother is wearing a ghillie suit? I think I broke a computer. Seems fine. Pretty much. This is how extreme I suspect him of being. I looked up to the water tower to see if he was flashing me like a signal message. Okay, almost certainly there's something I'm supposed to see from right here. Oh, this is agonizing. I guess the other side could be that X marks the spot, and maybe I'm not seeing it on the bench. I haven't physically looked underneath. Could it be buried? Maybe there's another dead drop spike? But he also hasn't repeated himself. Wait. Yes, you motherfucker! <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yes, the dossier from the beginning. Hold on. Yes, there it is. Evidence of President Kardashian and the aliens. President Kardashian with an I love child shirt. <laughs> changeling, changeling I'd like to destroy. Oh. Item TZM 30097, specimen class, Cinderella, invasive. Oh, this is amazing. Yes! <laughs> oh, you poor fool! Oh, how pitiful you are, lying there in your own tears, your mind torn asunder by my diabolical enigmas! You must feel so... <laughs> Wait, are you finished though? 
No. All of them. He got all of them. I was, I was just thinking, like, you who's supposed to be seeing this not if not the guy that solved everything? Seriously? For real? <laughs> Fine. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Over. Next time, Brushwood. <laughs> Oh my god! What a total blast that was. Can I, I gotta call Jason and, and congratulate him. That was freaking amazing. Call Jason Murphy. Mr. Brustwood. I did it! President Kardashian secrets are safe with me! No association of lizard people will ever make it to your foul establishment. No! <laughs> Holy cow. Dude, that was unbelievable. It was so perfect. It was amazing. I am so glad. It took us, uh, we did the math today. It's like, have we been working on this for a month now? <laughs> we, we certainly have all had the time over the last month. Uh, it was epic, man. And the story beats are amazing. And fuck you, yes, I did smell that dumb rope. That was, it was great. <laughs> Oh, great. The, well, the whole the whole thing with the smell, I didn't know if it was going to play because originally uh, we had had, uh, it was supposed to be a cigar tube. Oh, so got it. It was the, the, the callback, but then it just ended up being a smell me joke. I'm not going to lie. When I sat down on the bench, I spent, like, that was the hardest one of all because I was convinced that there was something besides just look harder at the bench. And I sat there at the bench and I shouted out at you, convinced that you were in a ghillie suit somewhere on property, gonna jump out. <laughs> I, I considered it, really did. And then I decided, no, 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 he won't be there, but maybe Grant is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was epic and amazing. Uh, what an incredible experience, what an incredible day. Uh, you are a champion among men, sir. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. Couldn't have done it without Allison's help, without John's help, without Corey calling and checking little things and just little tiny things that I missed. But I'm just really glad nothing went awry. Dude, everything <laughs> worked. And, th th like, there were definite, like, full-on magic tricks. I'm like, I don't know where he would put a transmitter for the radio stuff, that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Corey went out and activated it. Oh, that's great. Uh, that's awesome yeah. because it had to be at the right time. Yeah, because it was it, we charged up the batteries and everything, but it had a sleep thing of like 200 minutes, and I'm like, oh man, you know, because I was like, okay, well this could, you know, he could get stuck on something, and so it might take longer. Maybe they'll break it up into two days or something like that. Yeah, the whole experience ended up being almost five hours for me. We took a little break in the middle, but it was it was it was a tasty big adventure, man. Oh wow, good, good. Yeah, I wanted to make stuff like hard, but not like frustrating. Yeah, it was ideal. Great. I'm oh, so glad you had fun. It's just such a huge weight off my shoulders. I'm All right. Like, oh, What's it? I hope this doesn't fall apart. Now you realize, like, you've, you've upped the ante, and now i got to figure out how to repay the favor. We've got the makings for another one. I mean, you know, too soon, right? But uh, when the time comes. Hells yeah. Enough for, uh, for another. Awesome. All right, man. Well, I'll catch you later. Uh, you, you did it. Hooray. Oh, awesome. Congratulations, and thank you for playing along, man. All right. Talk to you later. See ya. <laughs> That was amazing. All right, Brian, you got to pick one. Do you want to save time or do you want to save money? Uh, no, I refuse. Uh, false dichotomy, false dichotomy. I want both. I want to somehow be able to save time and money and I want to spare myself the eye-melting tedium of doing something I hate. Uh, for example, hold on, insurance. Shopping for insurance sucks, totally sucks, because you got one type of coverage and all you want to do is find a better price. So you look around and you see a bunch of advertisements that say a different price and then you get halfway into it, you realize that's not the same type of coverage at all. I want real apples to apples comparisons and I want someone else to do all the hard work. Ha, solve that one. Einstein Rosenbridge. You're almost there. If you go to Gabby.com, they do the work for you. You don't have to make a lot of phone calls. You don't have to go to a bunch of different websites. You just go to Gabby.com. They compare 40 of the top home and auto insurance providers right there for you. And seven out of 10 people that check their prices end up saving something. And if you end up buying through them, the average savings is $825 per year. Nice try, Professor. Auto Von car sales. Uh, I'll bet there's some kind of secret That's catch. Me. What do they? What do they put you on? Some kind of secret spam list? Get a bunch of robocalls or something? Shut up, Brian. <laughs> no, they don't do that.
They don't do that. They don't put you on any list. And it's free to check all of those prices. <laughs> well, it probably takes forever. It's probably too complicated. I ain't got time for that. Here, let me show you. I went to Gabby.com. That's G-A-B-I.com and did an apples to apples comparison. And in no time, I found a deal that was literally $800 less per year than I'm paying now. Basically, we're saying go to Gabby.com slash rogue sign up and then tell us how much money you're saving. Yeah, listen to Professor Von Insurance Sales, guy, whatever <laughs> he called me. Just, just listen to him. <laughs> According to science, <laughs> Gabby.com slash rogue is the best. Item number TZM3097, specimen class Cinderella, invasive, Zeta protocols. Specimen TZM3097 has proven resistant to russet-based attacks. Unlike with specimen TZM redacted, which displayed a particular weakness to both copper-plated zinc payloads and nitrate projectiles, the outer carapace of TZM3097 has been resistant to most attempts at disposal. No current deterrent exists at this time. TZM operatives are advised to employ a level 7 anti-infection procedure. The redacted team recommends maintaining a minimal distance of 30 meters from specimen. If level 7 execution is compromised, the redacted team can deploy a Prometheus unit for full sanitization. Untested, specimen TZM3097 is an invasive species resembling Cucurbita maxima. They are approximately 30 to 38 centimeters in diameter and can weigh 15 to 35 pounds. 90% of the mass is often the mottled outer carapace, suspected to be secondary offspring deposits that may hatch and evolve into redacted. The outer carapace is in actuality a rugged amniotic sac protecting the liquid fungal payload. The amniotic fluid within exhibits individual cellular sentience. See Promethe use unit for recommended response. Each specimen displays behavior indicating it operates as an extension of the redacted elective intelligence. Low-grade, persistent telepathic attacks from the specimen have proven to be effective at a range of 25 meters. Using this ability, the specimen attempts to coerce intelligent creatures into ingesting the amniotic fungal payload. Once the target creature consumes the fluid within, transformation into redacted is both complete and immediate. TZM has inserted Caspian class operative codename Cobra. Operative currently exhibiting degradation of mental faculties. Repeated exposure to the telepathic abilities of TZM3097 is suspected. Redacted is monitoring Cobra's performance.